There was like only a couple of years ago, there was only like four gyms, no, not even like, I'd say it's up to about 14, 15 gyms now, which is brilliant because it means there's a lot more amateur shows and the young players are getting more, more time in the ring. I'll eat this at three o'clock, I'll train at five o'clock and you're back and you're planning out what you're going to eat again for your dinner and then it's the same the next day. A couple of good memories down here, you know. Uh, there used to be a swinging hanging out there over over the stream. The idea was uh, to raise funds to complete the project, and within within that, to try to push a campaign through for Shine a Light. White water rafting, elephant trekking, fire biking. Keep on him! Keep on him! Go on! Keep going! You put your mind to something, to giving your life something for six day weeks for the training camp and then to see a result in the end and all the people like your friends and family come to support you, the, the boys, the crowd like. Hey! Hey! We got Nick O'Brady, right? they called me. I think what, yeah? Jay with Brown. He's with a good group of lads and you know, we know we'll be looking after him. Training six days and the following Sunday we go to the snake show, go to the beach. There was a lot of respect to him. The two boys actually done an interview together uh, for Red FM. They didn't know if they were going to get each other in the final. But, I think just by talking to the two of them when I hear in that interview that there's a mutual respect there between them anyway.